I'm Douglas Massey, and whether you're an insurance agent or a Medicare recipient, this video should speak to you as I clearly break down the differences between OEP, open enrollment, AEP, annual enrollment, and special enrollment period, including dual special needs known as DSNP enrollment period. So let's jump right into it. And yes, this is what I'm going to ask. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. We're putting out new insurance content every single week. And guys, FYI, if you're an insurance agent, I highly recommend sticking around all the way till the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing some, well, potentially life-changing information with you and I'm not exaggerating either. You're going to see exactly what I mean after I've explained OEP, AEP, and SEP. Starting with AEP, Annual Enrollment Period, this is the time of year when you see all the TV commercials about the Medicare Advantage plans as all the insurance companies know that this is, you know, that's the best time of year to sell. And that's when they're going to make their biggest profit at that time. During AEP, anybody with their Medicare parts A and B can switch or change Medicare Advantage plans and try something that's a little different. Annual enrollment runs each year from October 15th to December 7th, again, every single year. There are multiple Medicare Advantage plans in every single area that all have these little differences in benefits. And therefore, it may actually be very beneficial for the Medicare recipient to look into different plans through an insurance agent, you know, around this time of year. For instance, some plans will cover like prescription drugs, but may not have like vision and or hearing coverage. Meanwhile, other plans might not cover prescription drugs, or, but instead they maybe have like a give back program where the insurance company will, instead of covering the prescription drugs, maybe refund part of or all of that monthly Part B premium. Remember guys, Medicare recipients do have to pay for Part B, whether they have the Medicare Advantage plan or original Medicare. And you do have these different plans, so maybe you'll have a plan that bundles something like dental and vision insurance, for instance, which is usually a really good fit for like a veteran who maybe goes to the VA to get his medication so he doesn't need, you know, the medication through the Medicare Advantage plan. but. He doesn't have the dental or the vision through the VA. You, you can't just get that. They don't just give that for free. So now he'll have it with the Medicare Advantage plan. OEP or open enrollment period is looked at like a last chance shot at either maybe trying out a new plan or let's say the beneficiary realizes that they may have been better off with their old plan. You know, um, you know maybe they got a, a new plan in annual enrollment. And this gives them the last chance to switch back. OEP runs from January 1st to March 31st. During this time, OEP, the Medicare recipient can change their Medicare Advantage plan one time and one time only. As with like AEP, they can actually switch as many times as they want. In other words, let's say the recipient meets with an insurance agent on, I don't know, December 8th. Um, you know, they're convinced that they should switch plans because the maximum amount of pocket maybe is lower than the plan that they've got. So, okay, that's great. They're, they're gonna apply for the new plan. Then another insurance agent comes along and maybe shows them that, yeah, the out of pocket may be better, but I've got a similar plan that will actually give you money to use for healthy foods. The last plan that they sign up with during the annual enrollment period will be the plan that they end up with. And again, you know, if they don't like it, then no big deal. They just gotta wait till January 1st where they're gonna get one more shot to switch back. Once they've made that last switch during the OEP, that's it. They are stuck with that plan until October 7th, you know, rolls around again and then starts the next annual enrollment period. Unless, and this is very important, unless they are a dual special needs or what we call in the insurance business a DSNP beneficiary. So what is this and how does it work? The main difference between your regular Medicare Advantage plan holder and a dual special needs plan holder is that the Medicare Advantage holder is on Medicare, while the DSNP is either on Medicare and Medicaid or is getting special help 
on top of their Medicare, the special help known as LIS, a low income subsidy. In most cases, this means they live at or near the very low poverty level income range and therefore qualify for Medicaid assistance or the LIS. And I'm, I'm not gonna get into this too much, but the main differences between Medicare and Medicaid is that Medicaid will generally pay what Medicare doesn't pay and LIS is usually granted for people whose income level isn't quite low enough to qualify for Medicaid, but they still need help to pay for their prescription medications. The Medicare recipients who qualify for these dual special needs plans can switch Medicare Advantage prescription drug plans once per quarter, and then again during annual enrollment. So this gets a little confusing, but it's really not that confusing. For example, they can move plans once from like January until March, January 1st to March 31st, then again from April 1st to June 30th, and then again from July 1st through September 30th, and then again during that annual enrollment period from the October 15th through December 7th. Remember I mentioned earlier that if you're an insurance agent, I was gonna share some potentially life-changing information? Well, this is that part of the video, so listen up, folks. What if I told you that I have a 100% free exclusive direct mail leads program that targets those dual special needs folks so not only will you not have to pay for exclusive leads they're never resold but you can sell Medicare Advantage prescription drug plans all year long hold on I know you're thinking well Doug there must be a catch right well believe it or not there actually isn't and that's because our national insurance agency pays the full commissions with those full lifetime renewals for the Medicare Advantage plan. So yes, we would help you to switch your carrier contracts over to us. I mean, that makes sense, right? And not only will you have access to the free direct mail leads that are the exclusive leads, but you'll have access to the most intensive training platform in the industry. We have tons of videos made by some of the highest producing insurance agents in the country. And these videos show everything from like how to make your presentation to you know dealing with multiple sales scenarios not only that but we are running two live zoom training calls every single week that literally cover every situation that you could bump into or even imagine you'll get tips and tricks from our top producers and we'll be able to ask them anything that you can think of you're also going to have access to our group me app which this thing is really cool what it does it gives you the ability to be part of a huge group of medicare agents and you'll see what the other agents are selling in different parts of the country and if you've got like for instance this is this is what i love about it if you've got like a question about anything specific there's always someone there to help you out and point you in the right direction or share their experience with that situation. Believe it or not, we do have multiple agents who are writing over three, even over 400, even over 500 of these dual special needs plans every single year through our training and free leads program. You wanna see some numbers? I'm gonna show you some numbers. Here's some quick math. Let's say you switch 400 DSNP plan holders from one plan to another and you do this for let's say five years your pay for switching plans is going to be the 287 dollars you know for each one that you move times 400 which is 114 thousand dollars per year times five years and now your renewal pay is just under six hundred thousand dollars per year and even if like, let's say a high percentage, 25% of your clients, you know, fall off or pass away, you're still looking at over $400,000 in lifetime renewals. I mean, does it get better than that? Bam! Guys, for more information on joining our agency and selling insurance through us as a totally independent insurance agent, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. Remember, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there, guys, and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.